today I'm going to show you how to draw a simple floor plan using Excel. And the good thing about using Excel is that you can draw everything to scale. So if you're laying out your garden or a room in the house or something like that, uh, it's very useful. And it's a fun thing to do. So let's get on with it. The first thing I suggest is if you come down here to the bottom right, you'll see your scale. And if you leave it right in the middle, that'll give you 100%. And that gives you room to move your scale left or right, which is to make it smaller or bigger, so that you can fit things in more easily. Then the next thing you do is go right up to the top left-hand corner here, and you'll see a little arrow appear when you get there. Click on that. That selects all the cells in your spreadsheet. Then move along your columns until you get to the first dividing line between two cells and you'll see two arrows appear. Click on that and hold it down and then you can move it left or right changing the size of the cell. But have a look in the brackets just above there you'll see pixels. Just focus on them. Don't worry about the other figure. And let's make it, I'm just moving randomly just to get a size that kind of fits in. So I'll go to 40 pixels. Let go. Now, we do the same thing here. Don't click in there because uh, you'll unselect everything. So we go there, the next, uh, between the first two rows, and you'll see the two arrows appear. Left click, hold down, and you see we've got 20 pixels. We want to make that 40 pixels so that we've got a perfect square for our grid, our scale. There we go. Now, if, uh, if the squares are too big, then you can come back down to your scale and you can move left or right, make them bigger or smaller. In this case, I want to make them smaller so that we can get more things in. And you can call those squares anything you like. You can call them meters, you can call them feet. They're all the same. So whatever scale you decide, um, that's fine. So let's start off, let's pretend we're drawing a floor plan for a yard with a house in it. Okay, so we, I normally leave a little uh, a square on each uh, top and bottom and the sides so that we're not hard up against the, the lines of um, the spreadsheet. So I normally start about there, then we'll drag it across. And if you look at the top left there, you'll see how many rows uh, I've covered and how many columns. The C is obviously columns and the R is rows. So let's go to about let's go to about 30 columns and we'll call each square about a meter. And we'll come down until we let's I don't, I don't want to go off the thing. Let's go to 35, 36 and 20. That's about it. Let go. So now that's the area of our yard. Now the next thing you do is you want to put a border around there so that uh, you know where you are. So we'll click on there and we'll go to a thick border all around. Click on there, click outside of there and you'll see there. So we'll call that the yard. Now we want to put a house inside the yard. So um, let's do that. Let's go two from the boundary and a few in to give us a bit of a backyard. Come forward, give us a front yard, and down two from the boundary. There we go. And uh, this time I'm going to select more borders, and then I can decide what I want to, how I want to do it. The outside of the house, I think I'll do with a double border, so I'll click on that one. And then we just go click, click, click. We want to border all the way around and say OK. There we go. So that's the house. Then we might want to uh, design the house, the outline of the house a bit differently. So let's have a little bit of a front porch. We'll do that. And we'll go to our borders again. Um, this time I want to put a border there, there, and there, but not in the front so that we can get a bit of a front porch. And if you click, you see, there we go. 
and the back we'll have a little patio so let's go make that slightly larger in the front one and here we go and we'll do some borders again so we'll do the double border so we don't want that one we want the three others here we go and click outside there we go so we've got a basic shape for the house um, then we might want to do some shading let's say uh, the yard will make the yard as if it's covered in lawn to start with so we'll fill a color there that's kind of the color of lawn that's better here we go we'll call that lawn and then uh, we'll make this the inside of the house we won't have any lawn obviously so we'll just have no color there so now we've got the yard separated from now the patio we could do a bit of paving say so we'll do that give it a color slate gray would be quite nice uh, give it some borders give it all borders here we go that's the double border so that looks quite nice in the front we might do the same so we'll just go like that and give it the same kind of border here we go front and back have now got patios and entrance all we could we could make a door if we want to so we just Select that square and go to more borders. Uh, so we won't have that, but uh, we'll have the door open. Get rid of that one, give it a uh, that there. That's all we'll need. So there we go, there's the door open, and we could have a back door as well. That square we need. More borders. Get that one there. And get rid of that one. So, okay, here we go. Front and back doors are open. You might want to put a, a room inside so you could just select an area like that and give it a border all around. Here we go, and maybe just show the door open. So we want that one. We don't want that one. Here we go. So you could put more rooms in and that sort of thing. Then you could go to the garden, for instance, and maybe put a, a flower bed in. Select those squares, give them a different color. Flower bed would be, say, brown. And do another one here. There we go. We could, we could type in flowers or something like that. So uh, let me go to the bottom one. And if you type in flowers, we'll need sort of a bit more font size. We'll get about that one. Type flowers. Now we want to rather have it vertically because it's going the wrong way. So let's press enter and then uh, select the square that you typed in go like that and go vertical and uh, because you've only got one square there you need to merge and center so that you get all the writing take select all those squares and merge and center that 
font's a bit big, so we can go to 16, 14. There we go. Flowers. And you can do the same on this one. Um, uh, you want, might want to put a tree here, so you could select that one, type in tree, maybe a bit larger. There we go, tree. Okay, then you might say uh, that shape's not really a tree shape. We want to put a little circle around it, so go to insert and get a shape. It's more or less the shape of a tree. Click there, move it over there. Let's just say we don't want any fill. Here we go, there's a tree. And in the back here, you might want a little garden shed. Let's make it gray, a very light gray. There we go. And you just type in the shed. Let's make that a little bit larger. Select those letters, go up here until you get the size you want. Uh, you might want to centralize it, so you just select with those three and go merge and center. There we go. So there's our shed. Uh, maybe you want to wash line here, there, let's do that, and we won't have any fill on the wash line, just type in the wash, select those letters, I should have made them a bit larger, let me just do it now, here we go, Do it. So there we have it. Um, there's a basic thing. You could put more rooms in. You could put windows in if you wanted to. Um, and uh, you've also got it all to scale. So that's quite nice because if you pulled one of these squares a meter, you'd know how far your flower bed was, how where your tree was, your front gate if you wanted to put one in, the dimensions of your patio, etc. So that's all very easy and uh, it's quite a fun thing to do. Now if you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please like and share it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And we'd love to hear from you if you had any comments or if you'd like to ask any questions. Uh, just scroll down to the bottom of the video, there's a comment section there and you can leave us a message there. Thank you for watching.